Have farmers lost the war with resistance? No, they still have the ability to rotate herbicide modes of action, rotate crops, and rotate technologies, as Bear Crop Science's Mark Rook explains. We don't, we're, we're not past the point of no return yet in this geography. We still have some options that we can use to help manage this potential weed resistance issue. So I'd like to point out a, a little sign here called Respect the Rotation. What is Respect the Rotation? That's an initiative that Bear Crop Science started two or three years ago. It really started in the, in the south, trying to address some of the weed resistance issues that we saw there. But we're expanding it throughout the Midwest, throughout the High Plains states. And what it really focuses on is utilizing all of the management tools or trying to make you more aware of those management tools that you can use to hold this resistance issue down, to stay ahead of the game, not let it get ahead of you like it's done in the South. And what, what does that involve? Well, it's all the things that Jeff mentioned earlier, rotating modes of action of herbicides. And we got a lot of people that don't understand things about modes of action of herbicides. So that's part of the educational effort we're focused on, helping you learn about which products fall into the different groups and which products have different modes of action, which modes of action are active on different types of weeds. So we need to rotate those types of uh, modes of action. We also, a huge help can be rotating your crops. I was talking with a weed scientist from Wyoming last week and he said one of the most effective programs they have in Wyoming to, to ward off resistance is the fact that they have wheat, winter wheat, dry bean, and corn rotations. That rotation allows, think about the planting dates of those three crops. You're planting your corn in mid-April. You're planting your dry beans in late May, early June. And you're planting winter wheat in September or October three distinctly different planting dates which allow them to, to come in with different ways of controlling weeds at different times of the year. They utilize different products, different modes of action. They maybe utilize some tillage in there to help break up that cycle. They're not locked into just a glyphosate only system or some other system where they build up the potential for resistance.